Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta if you're new here and I'm super excited to have you. Ooh, I have for you the two newest releases from Nabatus. I have Amorous Intense from AI the Great and I also have Meal Extas from Makeup Diary. If you're into that, stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of content. Okay, jumping in. Since, once again, I matched AI's perfume. I really, you know, I like matching these. I don't know why I really like matching it with theme. And I really struggled finding a shirt that matched both. I have like a turquoise and brown print top but I just thought that would kind of clash with the screen. But anyway, let's get into this. AI first had the super hit of Ambrosia Imperiale, which is phenomenal. I really like this so much more than I expected. And I was a little worried, like, can she like match this and beat it? Like, that's like a tough feet. That's really like when you're getting good and you're like, okay, now what do you do? Like, can you top this? And to have to constantly top, right? So I was a little worried and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to beat that. But hang on, let me tell you what I thought. I bought this right away um, at that pre-launching price. I didn't even wait for PR. I knew I wanted it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, oof. Tell you what, this one, and I've had this for, I don't know, maybe five to seven days. So I've had plenty of time to wear it, wear it around the house, kind of watch it. I've worn it out. Um, I even wore it to some appointments today, which I'm going to see them again in a little bit. And I'm going to ask what they thought. And then I can maybe input it in editing to, because Carlos is so funny. He always gives me his opinion and he's the least politically correct, which actually makes him really funny. I might have to do another video with him. it has been like, I don't know, two years. And then a clinic was just asking about him, which is funny because I'm going to meet him for tacos. If you guys want me to do another video with Carlos where he kind of tells me his opinion on perfumes, like popular perfumes, let me know. And I'll see if I can rustle him up to sit down for a little bit. He, he likes the camera, so I think he might be down with it if you want it. But this one, now first blast, I totally get Green Apple Jolly Rancher. Like it's just, it's so in your face, Green Apple Jolly Rancher. Like I don't know how anybody else can't not get that because it's so Green Apple Jolly Rancher. But don't worry if you're not into that because it doesn't last very long like that. And then it, it really just kind of turns into Green Apple and then slides right into Pear. And it is the prettiest pear. It is not like a lot of times it's a syrupy, sweet pear that you see in designer perfumes. It's actually a note I actually like. Um, Louis Vuitton has some that's with pear also. I think um, Cura Baton might be one with pear. I really like pear in those designer perfumes, but this is done so differently. This is literally like poached pears. It tastes more like a delicate French pastry. Um, if you ever had like poached pears on a plate or like on a pastry shell, like poached pears. And then it's like on these warm, I don't know what it is, but it gives me the envision of warmed poached pears, specifically warm for some reason. And then you have the whipped cream that has just been whipped homemade that is placed on top and that whipped cream gets a little warm and kind of blends with it a little bit and this is what i get and it's the most natural like in light syrup kind of pear like there's something some kind of wateriness to the texture that i really enjoy and there's something delicate and i shocked myself where hours later out and about i really thought maybe you couldn't smell it too much that I would catch these whips of my sillage. It was really pretty. Now, other notes that are in here, um, I don't get a very boozy effect from this, and I don't get a whole lot of coffee. If you're thinking it's gonna be a coffee prominent, the coffee is really distant. 
almost like maybe somebody a table over might have a coffee where you can get this faint like wisp of coffee in the air but there's nothing like this streak of coffee going through for me it really was a lot about the pears and whipped cream and just so delicious something really like delicate french french pastry about it um and the alang alang i think really lends to that more whimsical floral kind of feel this is not too foody there's definitely a good balance of these delicate florals that gives it a more delicate pear kind of feel versus you just finish snarfling down some dessert and you still have it smeared on your face a little bit maybe and that's why you smell so much of it and maybe there's some on your hands it is not like that it is really delicate like you're meant to smell like this it's really delicious um yeah the cinnamon i don't get a whole lot it's more just really well blended in to give it that pastry kind of effect those poached pears kind of it ends up smelling like it transitions from poached pears to poached pears and apples to me i don't really get apple sauce per se it really is more like for me in the fall like it's not it's something that we'll do in this house and it really scents the house really nicely when you kind of boil or poach pears or apples and then you have that seasoning in there with the cinnamon and it really little smells kind of like that plus my mom makes those those pastries like tart to teen she makes that that mm, this is really good so yeah this is a win performance is really good i don't i think my performance on this might have been a little better just a touch i don't know i feel like this one you know, I think we forget the weather was different when this came out. I always forget just how much weather affects me and my perfumes until I travel somewhere that has much different weather. Like when I go to New York City, I'm like, oh, I'm not really liking what I pack. These don't smell as good here as they do back home. It really has a huge impact. And I've heard some people say that their subsequent bottles of this just didn't have the same sillage. Well, think about the weather that you might be subjecting to it to because I personally sticking around in somewhat similar weather here in San Diego, it doesn't change that much that it hasn't changed for me. But I think it's people that are in areas that went from really hot and humid to now a little colder and drier that are feeling that and it's just not carrying and projecting in that same weather because this is performing the same for me um which one do i like better mm, it's a tough one i think the notes that are in here the launch is such perfect timing because october and november is when i kind of really crave those types of fruits because that's the fruits that are of season right you have these apples and pears and that's where all these desserts are and it goes right into the holidays so so nicely that i think this time of year i would favor this and I think maybe year round I would favor this maybe. I don't know. This one's really growing on me every day. I like this one more than this one. Where when I first got it, I was like, I think I like this one better though. And now this one's starting to take the lead with me. So that is Amorous Intense. Super excited. And guys, when you look at the prices, yes, Navitus did just increase their prices. But don't forget, this is 125 ml, not 100 ml. So you are getting more. You always have to look at the price per ml. And this is actually priced pretty reasonably. It's just a bigger bottle. Um, and always keep an eye out for their sales. I have Greta 10. Sometimes you can stack it. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes there's a better offer. Sometimes they're not. Because AI's had such a good success, they're not applying it for as many of the coupons. But you can always use the Greta 10 on there to help you a little bit. Now, moving on to my makeup diary. Karina did an amazing job with Meal Stas. Also, they're very different. Ooh, this one, Um, huh, I love it. Sorry, did I just get the cat out of the bag? Yeah, I like it. So this one, it opens to me with this like prominent apricot to me. It's more like a fresh and dried apricot and then with a little bit of chocolate and caramel to me. It blends really well. And then I swear I get some kind of nut like a walnut. 
Now, I've heard a lot of comparisons to this, and, and I have to agree, when I first sprayed it, I instantly thought of Dulce Diablo. However, I mean, that's because of that chocolate and apricot. However, this opens with that chocolate and apricot, but it's also a little too foody for me. This is something I really enjoy smelling, but I don't enjoy wearing. It's kind of like that for me. It's too intense. Um, this I felt like is much better. It's kind of what I was hoping that would be. There's an airier quality to this, um, a lighter, more well blended, that it's less of actual food and more of something I would want to wear. This is almost like the Dolce Diablo, emphasize the apricot more, lean it back, fluff it out, um, almost add an element of baklava to it because I get that honey um, and a little bit more of this well blended of the ingredients where baklava you're getting that honey and you're getting nut but you need to add a giant dose of apricot which is my favorite part in this fragrance because I love apricot this one is so so good it's again dessert like but not so dessert like that you don't want to actually wear it you only want to smell it where I can actually wear this one. This one has great performance for me as well. As this one dries down, I get a lot more of these dry woods come through. And I think like it's that dry saffron and you get some woods and it's very welcome because I don't like when something that's really foodie is too linear because I get tired of it, especially if it's a very photo realistic where it's, okay, I'm now feeling like I just have a plate of food on my face. I don't enjoy that feeling. So I like that it goes through this journey a little bit and really opens with that mouth-watering apricot that I just love. And I get a lot of vanilla also in the dry down. So it's, so it's, it's like apricot, then chocolate and caramel, and then a little bit of honey. You get this almost walnut, like dry nut kind of feel to it. And then it could be the saffron, I'm not sure. And then as it's drying down, you get a little bit less intense of that, a little more of the honey erupts. And then you get these dry woods that then seem to be soaked in vanilla. These woods are just soaked in that vanilla syrup on there that it keeps this gourmand feel, but it really takes a nice journey. And the dry woods are very welcome and kind of, again, breaks up, breaks it up from being too cloying or intense. I think this one is so good. They both did an amazing job. I'm very proud of them. So I wanted to do a quick update because I'm back home now. Gosh, it's so late. It's um 11 o'clock at night. All I want to do is change and take my makeup off and go to bed. Um, and hopefully I can just get this video out right away in the morning. So I went out, I had both fragrances on both arms from doing the video. And then I also had a couple other perfumes in my bag that I had wanted to ask about. And I have to say the winner was Meal Extaz. Gosh, I know Carlos really liked this one. Um, and I know people have asked before, Carlos and I are just friends. We've been friends like 25 years, but we're just good friends. But he really liked the meal extras. And Carlos is really picky. Anybody that's seen those videos, he's really picky. And he's really outspoken about what he likes and doesn't like. It's kind of comical. Um, and he had smelled this on me during the day too. And I'm like, it's probably just over. I said, you know, it's probably just overpowering where I feel like this is stronger. So you're probably just smelling this. I go, but you know, I was wearing this alone during the day. And he's like, yeah, no, I know. He really liked this one. He's like, this one. Over everything that I had. And I, I brought a bunch of Carner Barcelona also, because he's from Barcelona. Um, he just, this hands down. And there's very few fragrances he really, really likes. And he really, really liked this one. So that was really interesting to me. Just wanted to update you. Also, I wanted to record the responses. However, it was way noisier than I anticipated where we all went to eat. Wow, their happy hours pretty hopping. And the music was really loud and everything. So I wasn't able to do that. Um, but I do, I will have some other stuff for you in the future. So yeah, that, I'm going to keep this video pretty short and sweet. 
let me know if you've tried these, um, which one you're more excited about, which one you've tried, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.